Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Yacht Club. It's your place on the lake, so thank you for coming. I'm Amy Fuller from the Chamber of Commerce. So let's give a round of applause to our friends at Aula. And a big thank you to the weatherman for being wrong. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it over to Ann Robson from Aula. She's going to give you a few updates on what's going on with them. So Ann, yes, thank take you it so away. Much, Amy. We've been so fortunate tonight here. And thank you. Thank you for coming out. Nope. All right, put on my mom's voice. Okay. Yeah. Well, do this so he can do this. It. Oh, you're going to record it as well. Yes. The good side. Um, I have to do both. Uh, now we're asking for a lot. But I just want to thank you all for coming out and joining us tonight with our membership event here at the Yacht Club, doing the business after five with the Chamber of Commerce, having drifters here. It's just a great way to network all the positive things that happen um, here um, on, in Cayuga County and Owasco Lake. Um, as the newly elected president of Aula, um, I'm just following the footsteps of so many others that have helped um, with our efforts to improve the quality of Owasco Lake, our drinking water source, and it's a great place to have recreation, enjoying our boating, our swimming, and just the views here. We also love having the beautiful music. I see someone here. Uh, the music that we have of, of um, major keys. They have really added to the amb ambiance here tonight. Yes. So I, I am glad that you're mingling around. I hope that before you leave, you have an opportunity to go to our membership table. We have handouts on more information about Aula, all that we do with our children's teaching activities, with our stream monitoring, with our work, work with the um, Hemlock Woolly Adelgid, and um, with our Habs. As you know, there has been an issue here over the last few years. So um, again, thank you so much. I don't want to dominate this here, but please take advantage of, of the materials we have inside. I hope that um, this piques interest to join Aula, our members. Um, we do a lot of great things. We are a working group and we're always looking for more support um, so that we can do more and do better. So thank you so much again. There we go. Now, is someone else going to speak? Is Dana going to speak? Um, oh, yes. We had asked that he did. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Yes. And then at this point, um, there might be someone else from Owl that speaks, but at this point, we typically open it up if there's anybody else that, chamber members or whoever wants to share something coming up or anything going on. Is there anybody out there that has an event coming up? I saw Jalissa from United Way. There you go. I know you're here. I saw your papers. <laughs> thank you, Amy, and uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out to this beautiful location. Uh, the United Way of Cuyahoga County is celebrating 100 years this year. On, in October is our 100th anniversary. <laughs> you look thank great, you. Melissa. Oh, thank you. I age well. <laughs> Uh, so we have a lot of celebrations coming up, but I'm going to just focus on the closer events. Uh, the first thing we have coming up is a collaboration with Page Trucking on July 16th. It's Ride for the Memories. It's a motorcycle ride in memory of an Army veteran. This year's proceeds are going to uh, go toward a scholarship. But the United Way will be out at Weed Sport Page Trucking for registration. We'll be selling coffee and possibly some breakfast items. And Nucor has secured some beautiful raffle items, um, plaques for all the military services, and a really awesome fire pit. And so if you follow us on Facebook, you'll see those photos come out uh, probably tomorrow because I just got them today. Uh, and then at the end of the ride, we'll go through Cayuga County, down into Tompkins County, and then come back and end in Cato. And Nucor will be out at Cross Lake Inn and Marina grilling a variety of picnic style foods, hot dogs, burgers. We're really trying to convince them to bring back their Nucor beans. I don't know if you made it to any of our events last summer, but Nucor has this really special bean recipe. And we're trying to get it, and it's been hard. 
Uh, but the raffle and the food, uh, the raffle items will support the United Way, and then food sales will be split between us and Samson's Veterans uh, Cemetery down in uh, Tompkins County. Uh, the next major event is our annual fifth annual countywide personal care drive. We just announced it this morning. If you were listening to WAUB 93.6, you may have heard about it. Um, we partnered last year with 30 organizations uh, to provide community drop-offs and employee drives to collect hygiene items like toothpaste, mouthwash, soap, uh, razors, shaving cream, things that people need for you know, just daily hygiene that are not covered by assistance programs. We partner with the Food Providers Network. Uh, they take all of those items and distribute them to Cayuga County food pantries, soup kitchens, and homeless shelters. This year's drive is launching on July 8th. We already have some key location sites in all regions of the county, from Fairhaven down to Moravia and King Ferry. Um, the drive is going to end on August 4th as part of our annual second annual Day of Caring, which was launched last year um, with Nucor. We are currently accepting registra or project registration. So if you have a nonprofit and you have a project here in Cayuga County that volunteers that you'd like to have volunteers work on between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., please head over to our website, sign up your nonprofit and that project. And we're hoping to get about 20 projects this year in all parts of the county. We do have places up in Weedsport and Fairhaven already along with a couple here in Auburn. Um, the registration for nonprofits ends on July 15th. If you'd like to be a volunteer to go to one of these project sites, that registration is on our website as well and that closes on July 22nd. And then we have a whole bunch of other things happening too uh, that's all on our website, but I don't want to take up all, all the time, so I want to hand it over. I got the hook. I got the hook. <laughs> I got the hook. Thank you, Jalissa. And we got Rich Nall here. Okay, there you go. The boss is here. Yeah, my name is Rich Nall. I am a member of the chamber. I'm a member of AULA. And I've been a member here at the Yacht Club since 1948, except for a couple of years I was in the service. I want to welcome you all here and thank you for coming. And I apologize. Uh, we had some paving done and it sort of made a crunch for parking spaces, but it looks like everybody succeeded in getting here okay. <laughs> thank you for coming and enjoying our place on the lake. Does anybody else have news to share? Is there anything else going on? Teresa. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Come on down, Teresa. Come on up, I should say. Yes, come on up. I think door number three. Oh, door number three. Yeah. Okay. You got a boat. That's what you want. Ooh. No. Um, my name's Teresa Horcher, um, otherwise maybe known as the postcard lady. I'm better at writing postcards than public speaking, but I was, um, I'm grateful to Amy to encourage me to come up. I have um, a series of postcards that have kind of launched successfully, but the newest set is um, you know you love the Finger Lakes if, and it's a series of postcards that has all the Finger Lakes and nine waterfalls in between. And um, people have been so generous with all their contributions in um, getting my little passion project to push forward. So I've got some samples, you can see them. Um, a couple things are near and dear to my heart. One is education, so uh, a yearly donation is made to the Auburn Education Foundation. And I love OWL, but I also love all of the Finger Lakes, so the gentleman that um, gave me all the aerial photography for the Finger Lakes postcards, a yearly donation will be made to the Finger Lakes Land Trust. We need to take care of all our Finger Lakes. So anyway, I'm in there. thank you. Kelly Buck, Unity House, what's going on? Amy Fuller, Chamber, hi. <laughs> yep, um, yes, Unity House, we can't match Julissa and the United Way, but we're celebrating our 45th anniversary this year. 
So we're having a birthday bash at Tinker's. It was supposed to happen on June 1st, but the weather was supposed to be horrific, so we postponed it, and it wasn't horrific. So we're going to do it on Wednesday, July 20th, rain or shine if tornadoes are touching down. We're still going to be at Tinker's from 5 to 8. Here come the tornadoes. I just heard them. Um, <laughs> From 5 to 8 uh, at Tinker's, it's free. Perform for Purpose is kind enough to play some music for us with the student youth bands that Jim Van Ardsdale does. Uh, we'll be doing the uh, grill and we'll have some raffle prizes and everyone's available. Like I said, it's free. Bring your family. Come. And yes, there will be birthday cakes. So we'll see you there. Tinker's, uh, Wednesday, July 20th. Like it. Thank you. Thank you. And if you enjoyed some food tonight, Jane from Drifters, a hand for Drifters. Thank you. I guess they didn't hide well enough. No, they <laughs> they found me. So <laughs> I was hiding. So um, Drifters, if you guys haven't been down, is at the end of the lake. It has a really great and wonderful history starting back in the 1950s, right, with Baylor's. And so we have tried to continue some of that um, small town feel as well as recognize the tourism um, of the Finger Lakes and specifically Owasco Lake. So we will have a summer full of music. We're doing bands and brews on Wednesday night and we'll have nights with music throughout the summer. We're looking for a nice August day to do a seafood boil. Um, so yeah, I know, we did it. So during COVID, we did this Foodie Friday thing where we paired with other local businesses to sort of bring in their product as well as have, a, a, we were bored because we did a takeout. When you're, when you're down at the end of the lake and you're relying on takeout and you know, there's only so many people driving by fire lane one and most of them live there. So, you know, we got really bored. And so we came up with Foodie Friday. And so one of the um, other businesses we paired with was Brightleaf. And so we sold their Chardonnay with our seafood boil. So we're looking to maybe do something like that again in August. Um, that was a huge hit. So stay in touch. Everything is up on our website. And we also share that information on our social media for drifters. And if you haven't had their Brussels sprouts, go. It's like popcorn. Truffle oil, Brussels sprouts. I got time for one more. I got Lake Effect Magazine here. Let's do it. Hi, everybody. Does that work? It does. Okay. I'm Roy from Lake Effect Magazine. Uh, this is our 59th issue. It started in uh, Rochester in 1994. And now that COVID is mostly behind us, we're growing uh, into this area. We're members of the K new members of the chamber here. Uh, I'm the old guy. The younger ones are over here. It's Nikki and Emily. And my son is somewhere eating. Um, <laughs> that's what young men do. They eat, right? So, I mean, it's okay. But we have some complimentary copies inside. It's a beautiful 64 page full color art and cultural magazine. And I was in hospitality for 30 years. So, I, you know, small business is really important to me and learning about what you folks are doing here locally will be on our agenda for the next couple of years or until the young ones throw me out. So <laughs> thank you. We'll have those magazines at the registration area there. So pick one up because the illustrations and the photos are beautiful. Um, anybody else? Nikki Post. Mickey, Mickey, Nikki, Mickey. Nikki, Nikki, I'm yeah, yeah. Anything. yeah, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Um, this is lovely. Thank you very much for the music and the hospitality. Rich is great. Uh, I'm currently the president of the Auburn Education Foundation. And for those of you who may not be familiar with AEF, we are a um, not-for-profit, all volunteers, all members of the board are volunteers. And what we do is that we raise funds to provide teachers in the Auburn and Large City School District with grants so that if they have some creative, innovative projects that are not funded by the district budget, we go ahead and fund those for the teachers through their grants. We also have a couple of scholarships that were established a while back. We will be celebrating our 20th anniversary next year. Uh, and we um, manage those scholarships. We also have the House of uh, HOD, which is uh, honoring uh, alum of the Auburn District. And the reason I'm here 
Thank you, Amy. It's because we are hosting the Business After Five in September. So mark your calendar, September the 22nd, and we are hosting at Genesee Elementary School. And it will be your chance to see the amazing changes that have taken place in the schools. I went to Owasco, which was the school that I was principal of for a number of years, and I was just floored by the changes. It's beautiful. So mark your calendars, September 22nd at Genesee Elementary, Business After Five, sponsored by AEF. Thank you. And the BOCI students will be doing the food at that as well. BOCI students will be doing the food again for the third year. We didn't hold it last year because of COVID, but right. they do an amazing job. And these are students from all over Cayuga County who attend the BOCI's culinary program, and they prepare the food. So we, we partner with the district to provide the location. Uh, we partner with BOCI to give students the opportunity to show their ability, their mm -hmm. wonderful stuff, and then we are AEF, and we support teachers, and we showcase some of the projects that we funded. Awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? Jessica. <laughs> Come on up, Jessica. Yes. <laughs> Well, hello, my name is Jessica Wrench. I'm the Education and Resource Coordinator at the Cube County Chamber of Commerce and also the Program Coordinator for Leadership Cayuga. This is the premier program. If you are looking to get more information about Cayuga County, meet people in the community and really get to be a leader within our community. It's a nine month program starting in September, going through May. And we take you through history, education, uh, economic development, leadership development, so many topics. If you're interested, you can contact me or go to leadershipcuga.com. It's a fantastic program, and I see a number of alumni here today. So thank you. And there are some rack cards in there if you want to grab one. Anybody else? Just a couple of chamber things coming up. We have our golf tournament Friday. We do have room for a couple more teams if you're interested. It's at Dutch Hollow. And then save the date for our clam bake. It's August 11th at Yager Brook. We'll open registration for that next week. I want to thank Aula. I want to thank the Yacht Club, Drifters, and all of you for the support tonight. This was awesome. It was awesome. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>